Hello, awesome artists. Today we are doing a mixed media project, which means we are mixing up the media. So we've got lots of different things happening here. So you're gonna need a paintbrush, which is pretty standard when we are doing painting stuff. Uh, you're gonna need a tray of paint. This one is a little messy. Notice how some of the colors have been mixed. Mm, try not to do that. Um, so our goal for today is to experiment with different kinds of media and create some sort of image. Now your image might be abstract, or it could be um, more objective. So you can see here, this one I made looks a lot like a bouquet of flowers, right? I added specific details like leaves and stems so you can see what it is. This one you get the flower vibe, but it's a little bit more abstract, right? I just kind of added more things randomly. Okay, so let's get going. So to start, you're going to need all your supplies. A CD is what we're going to be using to do most of the printing on. You can also get some Q-tips, your paintbrush, don't forget, some cardboard pieces, some things like the Q-tips and the cardboard pieces you'll be sharing at your table. Definitely get yourself a paper towel and a messy mat. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. All right, I got two pieces of paper, a practice paper and a final draft paper. I'm gonna write my name on the final draft paper my paper is black, you might have a different color. I wrote my name on it and I'm gonna move it to the side, like way over, cause I don't wanna get it all messy. So this practice paper um, is for me to try it out before I do my final draft. So I'm also gonna move this practice paper to the side. I'm going to start painting on my CD. Now, I can paint on it a lot of different ways, um, but just to start, I'm gonna lay down, I don't know, just a color that I think looks cool, like purple. So I'm gonna start by adding some texture to it. So I'm gonna use my paintbrush to blotch or dab on some paint. And I'm gonna go all the way around. And I can decide if I want to mix different colors or if I wanna keep it the same. So if I wanna mix colors, I'm gonna rinse this brush off in a cup of water. And I don't want my paintbrush to be all soggy. So I'm gonna rinse it, rinse it, rinse it good. Wipe on the side. Just give it a little swirl on the sponge, and then I'm done. Now my paintbrush is clean, I'm gonna go into a new color. Um, how about white? The white looks really good on the black background, so that's a really cool idea. So no, it might not show up so well on your white practice paper, but if you choose a dark color like black or blue, the white looks really good. All right, so let's say I've got all my color on there. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna put my paintbrush down on my messy mat. Now I can take my Q-tip if I want to and make some designs. I'm gonna pick up my CD. There we go. And I'm gonna make some bumpy lines. I don't know, that's optional. You don't have to do that, uh, but I think it looks cool. All right, so once I've got that all ready to go, I'm gonna take my practice paper and bring it over here. I'm gonna hold it down, oops, or drop it gently. I'm gonna push, and you can stand up and push if you want to. Something I don't wanna do is twist it, right? I don't wanna spin my hand, and I also don't wanna slide my hand. I'm just pushing straight down. I'm gonna to count to five, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna lift gently my hand so I don't push my CD. I'm gonna take it from the side and peel it up. Oh, that design came out really good. That looks awesome. I'm really happy with that. So I can do another print on my practice paper. I can do two more prints if I can fit them on my paper. That's great. Um, if I'm feeling good after my one practice print and I want to move on, awesome. I'm going to take this um, practice paper and I will put that in the trash because I don't really want to keep it. it. Just was for practice. So now I'm going to take my final draft paper, put it close by so I've got it. Um, and I can decide, do I wanna go straight into the CD printing again? Do I want to start maybe with my cardboard pieces? So with cardboard pieces, you're just gonna dip the edge into the paint and then you can tap it onto your paper if you wanna make a design that way. You could also, I'm gonna choose another piece here, you could also slide it. So if I were to slide, it makes a much different mark than when I'm just tapping it on the edge, right? So you can decide how you want to use those. Um, I'm gonna keep these just kind of on my um, messy mat, right? I don't wanna put them on the table and get all gross. I'm just gonna leave them over here so I know where they are for later. 
All right, I'm gonna paint my CD again, and then I'm gonna stamp it on my black paper. Okay, I'm just working on layering some colors onto my CD. Uh, be careful that you're not adding too much paint because then it'll look kind of squishy on your paper and it won't look um, like a nice clean print. So just something to think about when you're mixing the colors on your CD. All right, so I really like how the white and the purple blended together. I'm gonna move over my paper. I'm gonna put down my CD eh, right there. I'm gonna press and hold. And I like to use the palm of my hand. Ooh, got a little paint on me. I like to use the palm of my hand because it really spreads out over that whole CD. And I'm gonna squish, count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna gently lift it up. Ooh, that came out pretty good. Um, you can also, uh, if you would like to, add details on top of your CD print. So maybe I wanna take my Q-tip and make some swirly lines on it. That looks really pretty. You could also take your Q-tip into the paint and add some more details around your flower or, you know, just your circle. It doesn't have to be a flower. All right, so I think you guys get the idea on how to use the CDs. Um, I'm looking to see at least two different prints, right? On my other ones, you can layer them, right, on top of each other. They look really cool that way. Uh, take your time. I'm looking to see that you are using the CDs and the cardboard or the Q-tip. So you don't have to use all three, but you need to use a combination of at least two so it's a mixed media project, right? Mixed media means more than one thing is used in an artwork, right? So experiment, and I'm excited to see how your artworks look. Put them on the drying rack when you're all done.